A sunny morning dawned over the small village on the edge of the forest when the stork parents Clara and Friedrich woke up and realized that today was a very special day. The sun was shining golden through the treetops, and the sky was as blue as the clear lake that stretched out at the foot of the village. Clara and Friedrich were not alone. In their large nest on the high chimney of the old farmhouse lay three eggs, which were carefully incubated by Clara. The anticipation of the two storks was almost palpable when they knew that their little chicks would soon hatch. The day passed slowly while Clara sat patiently on her eggs, and Friedrich patrolled the skies above the village to make sure there was no danger. The other animals of the forest went about their daily business and watched intently at the stork's nest, where new life would soon awaken. Finally, as the sun slowly sank behind the hills and the world was bathed in soft evening light, Clara and Friedrich heard a soft knocking from inside the eggshells. The time had come. Clara gasped with excitement as she carefully cracked the eggs with her beak and saw the little beaks and tiny eyes of her chicks for the first time. The first to hatch from its egg was a delicate gray chick with an unmistakable hint of pink on its soft feathers. Clara and Friedrich called him Felix. The second chick that followed was slightly larger and stronger, with a feathery fluff of white and black feathers. They called her Frida. And finally, after Clara and Friedrich had waited patiently, the third chick, the smallest of them all, hatched from its egg with a cheerful peep. They named her Flora. The stork family was now complete, and Clara and Friedrich looked with love and pride at their three little chicks, who now gathered around them in their nest. The next few days were full of activity as Clara and Friedrich fed their chicks, protected them from danger, and taught them to stretch their little wings and stand on their legs. Felix, the oldest and most curious of the siblings, was always the first to venture out of the nest. He practiced flying diligently by spreading his wings and waving them in the wind, sometimes landing a little unsteadily, but always standing up again with a beaming smile on his beak. Frida was the bravest of the siblings. She was always the first to try new adventures and encourage the others to come along. She explored the forest on the edge of the village and found the most beautiful flowers and the best hiding places. Flora was the smallest, but also the smartest chick. She watched carefully as her parents flew and landed and imitated their movements. Although she sometimes had difficulty keeping up with her siblings, she practiced patiently and became more and more adept over time. The days passed and the three siblings grew up quickly, while Clara and Friedrich lovingly cared for them and taught them everything they needed to know about life as a stork. Autumn soon arrived and the air became cooler as the leaves turned bright colors and fell from the trees. It was time for the stork family to prepare for their big journey. Every year in the fall, the storks set off on the long flight to warmer climes to escape the cold winter months. Clara and Friedrich knew that it was important to teach their children how to prepare for the long journey. With heavy hearts, Clara and Friedrich said goodbye to their beloved nest and flew off into the sky together with Felix, Frida, and Flora. They flew over forests and fields, over rivers and mountains, and the little storks marveled at the beauty of the world below. The journey was long and exhausting, but the stork family never gave up. They supported each other when one of them got tired and motivated each other to keep going. Eventually, they reached their destination, a warm place where they could spend the winter until it was time to return in spring. There, in their winter roost, the Stork family spent happy days together as they rested and recharged their batteries for their return. Felix, Frida, and Flora learned a lot about the world around them and about themselves as they enjoyed the long winter months. When spring arrived and the days grew longer again, the Stork family knew it was time to return home. With a sense of anticipation and adventure, Clara, Friedrich, and their three children set off and flew back towards their beloved village on the edge of the forest. When they finally flew over the village, they saw the old farmhouse with the tall chimney and the familiar nest perched on top of it. Clara and Friedrich were relieved to return home, and Felix, Frida, and Flora were excited to see all their friends and familiar places again. The nest on the old chimney was still there, warm and cozy, ready to welcome the Stork family. Clara and Friedrich landed gently next to their three children 
and embraced them with their mighty wings. The Stork family was finally reunited, and they knew that no matter where life might take them, they would always stick together, like a family, strong and inseparable. And so Clara, Friedrich, Felix, Frida, and Flora lived happily ever after, full of adventure and love, in their cozy nest at the edge of the forest. <laughs>